Hi, I'm Emily of Emily's Align Fitness and welcome to your Coffee Break Abs Workout. So in this Coffee Break Abs Workout, you don't need any equipment. If you just wanna grab a mat or a soft surface that you feel comfortable laying on, then you are all set. We're gonna get started on our bums. So go ahead and come onto your tailbone. You're gonna come down. I want you to sit with your feet hip width apart and parallel. And you're going to use those hands, taking them behind your thighs to pull yourself up nice and tall. Spine is long. Good, you're gonna have, as if you have like a rod through your back, you're stretching the top of your, for, yeah, the top of your head rather, up towards the ceiling. Inhale here. And on the exhale, I want you to start to tuck your tailbone under, really round out the mid back and try to scoop your mid back towards the ground. Good, get as low as you can go without hitting the mat. Inhale, and then exhale, start to round yourself forward. Like you've got a big beach ball right in front of you and you're trying to go over that beach ball. Inhale, exhale, start to send it back. Good, just going at your own tempo here. Feel those abdominals catch. Inhale at the bottom, and then exhale over the beach ball and then rounding all the way up, lengthen the spine. Good, inhale here, exhale, we go back. Check to make sure that all 10 of those toes are on the ground, as low as you can go. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, scoop the belly button in even tighter, round over the beach ball, lengthen the spine. We're gonna go one more just like that. Inhale at the top, exhale, round back. Mid back going towards the ground. Abdominals turned on, get as low as you can. Inhale, then exhale, round all the way forward. Come all the way up, nice. Inhale here. On the exhale, I want you to come to your deepest point, and then you have a couple of options. You can either keep your hands behind your legs and give me little tiny pulses forward, or if you feel good, reach your hands forward and give me little tiny pulses just like this. We're gonna be here for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna turn up the volume even more. So, there's no turning back. You're in it now. Your modification, your option, of course, is always to take those hands behind your thighs and to use a little bit of biceps. Now I should mention that if you are um, currently pregnant, this is not gonna be an appropriate exercise, probably not gonna be an appropriate video for you. If you are postpartum, then I would also check out a specific postpartum video for you. This is appropriate, you can do this postpartum, but there's a couple more cues that aren't gonna be in this video. If you have any questions in your postpartum, you can feel free to reach out to me. Good, you got four. And three, hold it back, and two, and one, hold it here, reach the arms up. Good, three, and four, take them forward for two. Good, three, and four, nice. Really tuck that tailbone under, up and up, reaching those fingertips forward. Really think about tucking the tailbone, rounding your pubic bone, the bottom of that bikini triangle towards your nose. Up and up, good, down. Nice, you've got about 20 more seconds, more like 15, and then we're gonna hold this upper body just like this, but the arm positioning is gonna change. Good, 10 seconds, little less. Give me one more just like that. Good, up, 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 and up. Good, down, down. Nice, hold the upper body just like this. And then take your palms, press them into one another. I want you to rotate left elbow towards the ground, center, right elbow towards the ground, and then center, that's the move. You go left, center, right, center. As you go for this little rotation, sort of like a Russian twist, we're thinking about keeping our hips nice and even. Your thighs should not be swaying side to side. Good. Press into your palms, press those palms into one another, activating through your chest. And breathe, of course. Good, you've got about 15 seconds here, then we're gonna take it all the way down to the mat. Now, some of you may love working your abs, which if you do, that's awesome. Continue working them, enjoy. For those of you who don't love working your abs, I'm with you. You've got four, three, two, one. Good, hands behind the thighs, your arms reaching long. Roll all the way back with control. Okay, belly should be feeling quite warm. You're just in the, in the start here. I want you to go ahead and take your knees over your hips in a tabletop position and find a neutral spine. So neutral spine means I'm not arching my back, my lower back isn't off the ground, but I'm also not imprinting where my lower back is mashing into the ground. I want you to think like you have just a puff of air 
underneath that lower back and the mat. If you have any lower disc problems, go ahead and find more of a tuck. From there, I want you to take your hands behind your head. We're gonna go for a tabletop crunch. You're gonna lift it up and up. Good, back and back. Up and up. Good, back and back. Squeeze your inner thighs together, please. And as you come up, your knees are gonna wanna travel inwards. We're not gonna do that. So keep the knees over the hips, shins parallel to the ceiling. Good, think about really pulling the belly button in towards the spine, smoothing the rib cage inwards towards each other. So each set of ribs towards each other and then softening them down. You got about 10 seconds. If it helps you, you can grab onto your ribs just to feel what's happening. Good. You got four, three, nice, two, and one. Now from here, I want you to curl head, neck, and shoulders up. As you do, extend that right leg. So you go curl, extend, lengthen, lower. Good, curl, extend, lengthen, lower. You got it, you're looking good. Nice, we're gonna go for one more change on this side, a little reprieve than the opposite side. You got 10 more seconds. Good, up, and back, two more. Good, up, and back. Last one like this, you go up, and back. Now we have a four part combo, stay with me. You go up, extend. You go rotate towards that left leg. You go back center, you go bend lower head. You go up, extend leg. Good, rotate, hold. Good, rotate, center. Knee in, head down, that's the move. You go up. You go rotate, nice and slow. You go center. You go down, you got two more like this. Good, up, extend. Rotate. Good, center. And lower, last one like this. We're gonna hold it, up, extend. Rotate, hold, little rotation pulses. You go 10 and nine. Good, eight, we're gonna hold the knees in, and six. In four, three, two, one. Knees into the chest, head, neck, and shoulders down. Good, you can rock yourself a little bit side to side. You can shake your head no, shake it yes. Very challenging for the abdominals, but you did it. Good, I wanna get the whole of the abdominals before again isolating just a single side. So from there, press your hands into your thighs, press your thighs into your hands, inhale. Exhale and come up. <clears throat> you have a double leg stretch. Legs are parallel towards the ceiling. Reach your knees a little bit tighter in towards your ankles. We're gonna inhale, arms and legs extend in one long line. You go inhale and exhale. We're just going for eight. Good, inhale and exhale. If you need to take those legs a little bit higher, that's a wonderful modification, go for it. Good, lower and in. You got four more, use the breath. Inhale and exhale. Good, if you don't have the space, you can just reach the arms upwards and back down. Two more, up and around. Last one, reach and around, nice. From there, I want you to go ahead and come over those legs. Find a forearm plank. So you're on your forearms, you're gonna take those legs back behind you. You've got 60 seconds here, just hold for the first 20. Then we add some variety. Zip your inner thighs together, elbows under your shoulders, lengthen your spine. Good, space between the shoulder blades. You got eight seconds, and then we're gonna run the knees. In four, three, two, one, run the knees. You go left and right. Good, left and right. So the hips are not moving. If you need, you can go ahead and find a kneeling plank and just hold. You've got eight seconds, and then our final little variation on the 60 second plank. Good, three, two, one, just hold it. Take your left hip over, right hip over, excuse me, and then your left hip over, and then come back center. You go side, center, side, center. Good, give me 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, we switch, and six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the knees, just go ahead and flip over onto your back. And we're gonna go through that same little series again. We have our tabletop crunch, head, neck, and shoulders down, <clears throat> knees over the hips, hands behind the head. You go up and up, good, down and down. Up 
and up. Down and down, pull the belly in. Up and up. <clears throat> up. Nice, so here again, the rib cage softening down. Shins parallel to the ceiling. Sides wanna come in, but you don't let them. <clears throat> I don't know whatever temperature it is where you are, or what the air is like. It's very dry here in Switzerland. Up and up. Good, back and back. Up, and I don't want you to waste your time watching me just drink water, so let's see how we go. Good, four. And three. Good, two. And one, now we go for that extension. Back leg extends as you crunch up. Lower down, bend knee. Extend, bend knee, lower down. Extend, and lower. It helps me sometimes to put my hand on my rib cage just to feel that it's knit together. If that helps you, go for it. If it doesn't help you, keep that opposite hand behind the head, find that extra support. You got four more, and then we're gonna add that bicycle action our broken down bicycle. Good. Two more like this. Two, and lower. Last one like this, bend, excuse me, extend, and lower. Good, so now we're gonna go for that broken down bicycle. Follow along with me. You go curl, extend. You go rotate. Find center, bend, lower. Good, up. Rotate, center, lower. Up, rotate. Center, lower, up. Nice, center, lower, good, give me four. Center, trying to bring that opposite shoulder towards the opposite knee. Two more, up. Last one like this, up. Center and lower this next one, I want you to hold. Come up, rotate, give me 10, little pulses. Good, this is it. You got four, three, two, one, pull those knees in towards the chest. Give me those little circles. Oh, final exercise, you nailed it. That was not easy. Cross your legs, go ahead and flip over into a nice all fours position. Just a quick little mobilization of the spine before we finish, a cat cow. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. I want you to flare those sits bones, drop your chest towards the ground, bring your shoulder blades down your spine. Lift chest, lift chin. Inhale. Exhale, round the back, tuck the tail. Press the mat away from you, drop the chin. Rounding it towards the chest, one more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, find that cat. Now find your neutral spine, tuck your toes under, walk yourself all the way back up to standing. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you so much for joining me for this Coffee Break abs. That was tough work, but you nailed it. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.